Welcome to the video about my June colored pages. And traditionally, let's start from Magic Mouse. In June, I haven't colored as much as I did in May, but still, I added several pictures in Magic Mouse Spring. I know that I promised to switch to summertime, but still, somewhere in my mind, I have this hope that one day I will be able to finish Spring. So I continued to do pictures here. If I felt inspired, if I imagined that I can quickly color something like this spring in bloom, here you can see that picture is a very simple and I colored it also very quickly because I used alcohol markers here to oh, three colors for the you know, gradient on the grass, and then various shades of pink on the sky and of course with markers it's much quicker um, especially for the backgrounds comparing to pencils and for such small pictures it makes it even quicker so I was happy that it was simple page but I think that in the end it looks lovely when I outlined those flowers it definitely started to look like spring and I absolutely love this and dancing mouse so adorable and Another adorable picture, it's this mouse together with bug and worm. They are maybe meditating, maybe practicing yoga, maybe just sunbathing. Anyway, their face is adorable. And I decided to do interesting sky. So here I have gradient from various pink peach colors into lavender and more intense blue. Well, I think that it's one of the most, um, I don't know, uh, heartwarming pictures in this book, mostly because it's simple and at the same time it's very positive. I added a little bit of pink to the tummy here, so the mouse looks even more lovely. And finally I started to do those pictures in the beginning of the book, which are a little bit more complicated because they have animals. So here I did this one, which I called Gift for Mrs. Turtle. I think that it has some autumn vibe. Actually, both my pictures with animals here somehow have autumn vibe. Maybe because I was slightly tired of traditional green leaves, and of course when you add a little bit of orange or yellow to the leaves they started to be more autumn but i think that to the final look of the page it added interesting touch that not all the leaves are green and that i did fantasy leaves with blue and violet and those leaves with touch of yellow so we have this lovely apples for the mrs turtle and again it's simple warm, but just look at the shape of it. We can see different activities of it, a different mood of the warm. On the previous page, it was relaxing. Here, they are uh, he's interested. So it's I don't know how to explain that you can be in love with tiny warm, absolutely simple shape, but still it adds a very interesting touch to the pictures. And finally. Uh -huh. This one I did with Prismacolors previous. I did with Prismacolors only on the sky. I added, um, I believe, Star Joy Gold. They didn't blend very smooth here, so I can see a little bit of texture here. But they have lovely pastel shades, so that's why I added them. And here, uh, for the background, I used Arctic. Again, only because I want... To practice more with them, I still don't understand all that vibe around about those pencils. For me, they are well waxy. I don't have another award, so I try them. I want to use them more frequently. And for the backgrounds, they are okay. How to color them? More complicated things. For example, how I would need to color. Hedgehog or mouse, I don't know, because for me they are far from perfect for layering. But their colors are lovely, and when I need to do something more simple, like floor or walls, yeah, they could be helpful. They have nice intensity and lovely colors, so I combined. 
Prisma colors for the main characters and Arctic pencils for the rest. I don't know again why it has autumn vibe, maybe, I don't know, somehow for me hedgehogs, they are always, it's for uh, maybe late summer or autumn pictures and somehow I practiced it when I selected colors for the house of the hedgehog. Anyway, he is also very lovely, I do love this mm, bloopy nose and those lovely legs, so very nice and smiley. Of course, Posca helped me to do those needles better and I think that even if I colored not many pictures here, they are a nice addition to my collection. I filmed my progress and, well, maybe even with such slow speed one day I will finish it. And in Magic Mouse Summer I did one page, but it also very lovely. Here I have this one. I decided that, um, well, I don't need to think something very complicated for water. What was important for me is to show a reflection from the board in, on the water surface and a couple of waves behind the uh, board to show that they are moving, so behind the board they have slightly more intense waves. And I again decided that in these books I can be more creative with leaves and flowers. So here we have purple and um, those uh, mahogany red and nectar bushes. I think that it looks maybe not realistic, but who cares about realistic for such pictures? At least they created a nice um, combo with all those lime peel and moss green which I used for the rest of the leaves. Because it used to use only green, it's so boring. And again, look, we just have the head of the worm and tiny part of the bump, but we can see that they are enjoying themselves. They have perfect friendship and that's probably why I love this book so much, all the series of these books. Somewhere in May, in the beginning of May, I promised myself to do kind of Egyptian Sam marathon and when I realized that I won't be able to color all my planned pictures with Egypt elements during just one month, I decided that I will continue to do Egypt pictures through the whole June, maybe July, maybe August and then it will be nice to see what I managed to achieve to color various pictures with Egypt elements in books by various artists. In June I colored goddesses by Coco Vayu. Here we have a nice variety of goddesses from Egypt mythology and it Surprisingly, I hadn't touched this part of the book yet. I did Northern Celtic mythology, I did Greek mythology, but finally it was time to start something for Egypt. I selected this Hathor, beautiful goddess, uh, mostly because I love her posture. Uh, very interesting how she is standing and beautiful shape of her figure. Uh, somehow uh, I decided to start from dress and I was inspired by beautiful green areas on the sides of the river uh, Nile. Oh my god, I hope that it pronounced Nile in English. Anyway, so um, I decided to show both traditional colors, uh, more traditional yellow for sands and more um, desert areas and uh, green where lands can be can have water from the river so that's where i started from her dress and i used uh, arteza pencils because i know that arteza has this perfect combo to do this kind of gradient absolutely perfect in my opinion and of course i absolutely love her jewelry for the rest of the page i switched to uh, acrylic markers for bigger areas like uh, those columns or background and polychromous pencils for the rest. Uh, only on the lotus flowers I also used Arteza. They have lovely and interesting shades of pink, so I used them here. Well, and everything 
is lovely here. I do love this page, mm, but as usual, I struggled with paper. I think that I managed to resolve this paper with my previous pictures. Uh, somehow those two last pictures which I did here, I colored easier, but here I started to struggle again. Um, and when I tried to do slightly uh, darker and more olive um, shade of her skin, which for me is more traditional for Egypt, they have to, to have more tan color, not this very light pink, but colors looked dirty. Uh, some of the brands like Black Widow pencils didn't want to lay down here, they were scratchy and feel, felt very dry. So again I struggled with this paper and even if I love the final look here, I decided that it's enough for me to do just one page in a month. I had big plans, I wanted to do more pictures with other goddesses, but I decided to take a break. Um, because in the end you don't think about color palette, you just think about um, how to cover paper. You apply several layers and you can still see white paper texture. And then um, this unpleasant feeling, I don't know, maybe I, I press harder on the pencil and paper started to be, to feel it. So even when I uh, browse it, uh, you can feel how bad is paper, so I decided to take a break and I will return to this book during next months because I know that I can color here, but after um, one coloring I need a break because I start to mourn about paper, to bitch about quality of it. So after a break I will return to it with more enthusiastic minds, but at least I added another Egypt picture to my collection. And here I have my dark queens and king. And, well, it printed on similar paper. But somehow here I have much easier time in uh, dealing with paper. And I use the same materials, also alcohol markers and also polychromoses. But here, I don't know, but things went much easier. In uh, May I did the pharaoh page, this one, and in June I cheated and I used a lot of uh, markers and pencils from previous coloring to make this pair coloring. So the same markers. It's a good thing that I do videos so I remember quite well which markers I used here for the stone background, for the columns, and I used them here for the hieroglyph a wall behind the goddess. This time I decided to use more of blue-green teal colors for her coat. And there was one frightening moment when I used this very intense um, green, mallard green probably here. Usually I don't like such shades. Here I added it and I was afraid that I ruined everything. But later when I did um, darker areas on the uh, Quad, darker area on her dress, it started to look more interesting. And my final, most loveliest element is her interesting headpiece. She is really nice, it's not very creepy picture, so even for those who don't like pictures in this book because they think that they are creepy because of some elements, um, I think that this one is quite lovely. And as I said, somehow it's easy for me to color here, even if paper has similar quality. Maybe because elements are slightly bigger, so I don't need to color such tiny patterns as in goddesses. Maybe, maybe it's slightly thicker. Maybe that's because I have a white edition but, uh, without that black paint on the on this back page. I don't know, but somehow this one I enjoyed to do, previous one I struggled. But both pictures are nice and I love pictures which I got. Then let's have a look at Paradise. Honestly, these Paradise pictures I colored not in June, I colored them during spring, but in June I finally had time to make videos from them.
Here in Paradise I have this picture with a lantern. Um, I think that I did it mostly because I wanted to play with pencils and paints in my favorite color combo. You know that I use all those magenta, violet, lilac, lavender colors very often and this page was no exclusion. So I did a watercolor background in this a very dark purple magenta color. I decided that it would be a really nice contrast to the fantasy clouds and to the uh, yellow colors which I used everywhere here as rays of light from the lighthouse, as golden decoration on the castles, so everywhere. I was slightly afraid that my uh, veils would be lost, um, but when I added not only grey and black but also blue, they started to look a little bit better. Well, some of the elements here, maybe I had to be more accurate, but uh, somehow now I don't like how I outline those clouds with white gouache. Maybe lines are too thick, um, but my Posca didn't want to cover them thoroughly, so I switched to gouache and now those lines, maybe I had to use a light blue. Next time I will try to use not white but a light blue gouache when I want to outline blue clouds. But, well, the whole look of the page is lovely and because it's in my favorite color palette, I like it. The second one, I started more to experiment with uh, materials for the background. And honestly, background I started to do somewhere in February or March, so it was a long story. I wanted to use here my crayons. I have Distress crayons and I have King Art gel crayons. And somehow I decided that they would behave like neo colors. I started to apply them here and to add water and it was a disaster. I already mentioned it several times that it's not the best way to use them in the same way as neo colors. So I realized that now I would ruin the whole page here. I abandoned this one and after some time I decided that I could save it with simple watercolor background. So watercolor and plus pencils on top of it. I saved the background and now it has this lovely shades of green, exactly like I wanted it. Uh, maybe slightly dirty here in the corners, but well, when you already have a um, layer of crayons, slightly waxy, or even watercolor doesn't want to apply on top of them. So at least I'm happy that I managed to save the page. After that, I found a way how to use those crayons. Now I use them dry with my uh, brushes. I already use them in such a way in Kerbera Zanas, so I realized that simply it wasn't the right way to use them, but they are okay, just we need to learn how to use them properly. It was my mistake. Again, somehow this picture has autumn vibe, mostly because I decided that this green color will uh, look quite well with yellows, yellow leaves. Green leaves are definitely not so interesting. My favorite uh, element here is this anchor. You know that I love to color metals and here it was interesting to do it, not only metal part but also to analyze if there have to be reflections from all those bright yellow leaves. I don't know if it's visible on screen, but I added touch of orange and yellow and purple where bright elements are near the anchor surf surface, so they will be reflecting in it. Well, a lovely page. Mm, if you look closer, yes, the technique of coloring is far from perfect. There are visible uh, brush strokes, pencil strokes, but you know that I am more into uh, pleasant color palettes, so even if in some of my pictures are colored not very accurately and technique is not so good, I never think about it. I am into quick coloring, I can't work on one page during months to have 
perfect shading and perfect coverage. Yes, maybe that's a fault of my pictures, but I color for my pleasure and I prefer to color in the quickest way. So in the end I think that I saved this page and I am glad that I don't have ruined pictures here in paradise, which I love. Well, honestly, I have one work in progress here, but I decided to take a short break from it because I was afraid that I started to repeat myself, so I will show you this page later. It also was a small struggle with art supplies, but now it's it all shiny and again in my favorite blue and violet colors, so I hope that I will manage to finish it nicely. Next I have my main street. Let me adjust my camera. I decided that this month I need to dedicate to main street. It's another one of the books which I plan to finish one day and if I abandoned it for uh, several months that's definitely not the best solution for the book which I want to finish. So in June I did this lollipops candy shop. Look at this bright picture. Of course it's totally in in my way of coloring to use almost the whole set of Prismacolor pencils here, but I think that it's quite justifying for the page about candies. Uh, well, I prefer candies in more natural colors, so I tried not to do blue candies or something like this, but all this play with orange, red, pink, purple. I think that it was quite fun to do all those lollipops. Again, I tried to use a various color palettes for the um, wooden elements. I hope that it's visible that wooden counter and drawers, they have more beige shade of wood and those barrels, they are slightly more orange red wood. Well, of course, a lot of white Posca to show that all lollipops are shiny, all those jars here. Well, I wouldn't call it my favorite in the whole book, but I enjoyed it and I think that it's a nice addition to the main street shops. And the second one which I selected is quite simple. But I wanted to do it for a long time. So here we have this pleasant pizzeria and nice summer day, which I tried to show by using a lot of light yellow everywhere to recreate impression of bright sunshine here on the street and on the building. I continue to experiment with various colors for the bricks, for the color of the uh, wall and wood. I tried to do my shops in different color, but of course it's uh, difficult when you do the whole book of shops. Of course you will can you will be repeating yourself. But this one I do love mostly because um, I did this bright spot, those canopies. When I started to color it, I was thinking about simple green and white stripes, but. <laughs> when I did those chairs, table and uh, windows on the first floor, I realized that I already have a lot of greens, so maybe I need some brighter spot here to attract more attention to the central part. So I use this yellow and red and matching color for the tablecloth and I think that my pizzeria now, now looks very stylish. I also started another one, but now it looks slightly strange. That's my only words about it. I wanted again to use something unusual for the wallpapers, but I'm not sure how to proceed from this one. So that's my work in progress. Without comments so far, I hope that I, I will show it later. Um, here I have mostly pictures with interiors and I prefer to color pictures with buildings, with streets, 
pictures with interiors of shops are my least favorites, but I need to color them, so that's why I struggle with this kiddie shop. I hope that in the end I will manage to color it also. Now let's talk about Kanoka Yegusa and I have Symphony. Um, a couple of days ago I already did video about my current progress during the last six months in Kanoka Yegusa books and I realized that almost all my time I dedicated to Symphony, so I definitely need to return to Manuet and Rhapsody. But let me show you what I did in June in Symphony. As usual, oh no, I did background, I did the bookmark. So let me adjust this spread. I wanted to do only page on the left, and I did those poppies, slightly boring background. Everything here I did with Prisma colors. Yeah, Prisma colors. Because I have constant struggle what to use Prisma colors on uh, or polychromoses. Both are far from good on this paper, but Prisma colors are slightly better. So here I used Prisma colors everywhere. Um, I can't say that to do all these repeating elements is my favorite thing, but for such page, yeah, it was nice. And even if you probably can't say. Uh, Poppies on the left and on the right have slightly a different color palette, maybe one or two pencils. These are more orangey yellow and these are more simply red with a lighter red near the edges. So I also experimented what color palette for poppies I prefer more. Here I had uh, some problems with doing proper texture of fur on the bunnies and with their light fur, maybe they are slightly lost against the landscape, but those yellow boughs they saved page. And somehow I decided to continue and accidentally I did the right side also. I didn't plan it, but now I am very happy to have finished spread. You know that I have this small tendency to finish spreads here, even if pictures are different. But here they are united by the same of summer flowers, very lovely. Here again I used Prisma colors, only here for several leaves I used a couple of uh, May green and Juniper green from Prism Polychroma set, because I love their greens better. In this book I always have a little bit of difficulty to do pencil background. Pencils doesn't lay down as well as in a manuet, but because here I used mostly light colors, imperfections of the background are not visible. Yellow colors are not very traditional for me and I am glad that I selected yellow here the difference because it at least something not blue or not green which I usually use for the background and yellow did very good uh, contrast to the blue and uh, violet flowers. <laughs> I still hadn't mastered how to color white flowers properly but I try to use different techniques of shading, trying to use a little bit of light blue or light grey, so I am still experimenting here. Next, um, let's have a look at Kirby Razanes. And again we return to Egypt, then when I realized that I can do several pictures in Kirby for my Egyptian marathon, I was very happy because this spread with heads of Horus God was my favorite since uh, my first look at this page, at this book. But it was frightening because you know that I am not a big fan of doing patterns and ornaments. I never have enough patience for such things. And here it was, yeah, the same problem. I colored heads of the court and those landscapes very quickly. And then I was so reluctant to do this background. Uh, 
And even now, when I look at it, I still have doubts. I don't know if I did a mistake to do such a colorful background. Heads of the court, I absolutely love. I tried to show this uh, duality of its character. So it has part of the body like a human and part like a bird, like a hawk. Falcon, probably. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm not very good at English name of birds. So probably falcon. And here I tried to do this texture of feathers, tiny feathers on the head. So it was very pleasant. Then I selected colors which I usually use for Egyptian patterns for the background. Everything inspired by Egyptian jewelry, uh, various shades of gold, uh, blue, green colors and a little bit of orange red I started to do it and I was constantly afraid that heads of the coat would be lost against such a colorful background but at the same time mm, to do it in limited color palette uh, well I could imagine only shades of beige and brown so it would still mm, traditional for Egypt like carving on the sandstone so you can justify why you selected such color palette but I realized that I just would be even more boring to do it in beige and brown colors when you do colorful ornaments at least it you have some fun so even if I'm still slightly <clears throat> I have doubts about this one. At least I tried to shade uh, area behind the head of the coat, adding darker color and creating some uh, shadow on the background behind so the head would stand better against the background color. I still don't know. It's like you're not, not sure that you selected the best way, but in the same time you don't know how to do it better. Yeah, maybe to do it in black and white it it would be better but um, it's not traditional for egyptian i think patterns and also i simply won't be able to do it it's just boring at least here i have my favorite golden colors all from prism from polychroma sets all those green gold naples yellow which i always love to use to recreate gold so, well, let's say that I'm extremely happy that I did this very long coloring and that part of it I absolutely love, like heads of God and landscapes. Background, well, for the person who don't like to color ornaments, it's acceptable. So another huge spread finished and I surprisingly want to continue coloring in this book. I promised myself that I will switch to fragile world but now I think that maybe no I want to do another one here maybe with echidna or maybe with iguanas I don't know yet or maybe I can continue my Egyptian marathon and I have this perfect cat also for from Egypt this one but here again I have to think what to do with the background I have no ideas yet so maybe it will have to wait and my final book in this video is Ivy. Let me again to adjust my camera because pictures here have huge amount of small details and I want to show you uh, my pictures in full beautiful splendor. So during a couple of last months I worked on Pika room and I finally finished it here. Here I mostly used Prisma colors only on couple of areas like those doors of um, chest of drawers I added a uh, Helio turquoise from Polychroma set. I don't know why because in Prisma color we have similar color but I had it on my table I added it here I like it so I had to use it everywhere well, so that's my huge work. Of course, here I used a lot of Posca pens apart from Prisma color pencils, and on the uh, Pika himself, I also used touch of gray uh, 
gouache or acrylic paint because it has a pattern on the body uh, like leaves traditional for Johanna and I decided to make him in more realistic way covered by feathers so that's my finished spread in the beginning I was afraid to use such dark colors for the background mostly because I struggled how to lay them without white spots on the paper and somehow my prisma colors of dark shades they had a very waxy uh, look here so i color i open the book next day and i can clearly see this white waxy shining especially from dark colors it's maybe a matter of paper i don't know but still uh, that dark background on the sides and a lighter uh, background in the center. I think that it makes in atmosphere of this cozy room darker in corners and lighter in the center. I love this effect. And also dark background created a very good contrast to all those treasures collected by Pika. And we have a lot of them. As usual, when I have such a page full of various elements, I try to divide them into several color groups so you can see that they have something blue something gold something in more reddish gold maybe it's copper then several uh, gray metal elements and in such way i tried to make my life easier to select several color palettes and to divide elements between them. But of course still it's very colorful and I think that I filmed seven videos about this page so you can imagine how long it was. But that's not all because I also did this spread with butterflies in jars. First I hadn't realized that they are maybe parts of the same story but well, when I looked at it closer, I realized that you need to do both pages simultaneously because they are at least united by the background. Here in the text we have story of the um, butterflies and jars and also um, walls covered by cobwebs. So I added uh, here. Background was empty, so I tried to add something and those shelves, they were hanging in the air. Definitely not the best thing. So I added very simply several uh, stones to make empty areas less empty. I tried to add those arches, but well, they didn't have any symmetry in them. And another thing why it slightly disappointed me is that those these two jars, they look flat from the drawing of Johanna and this one, it looks round, so it's very simplified perspective. For me, it's slightly frustrating, but I decided that colors are more important and I do love how my butterflies have those light halo around them, this shiny color and even sparkles and how I did this gradient from uh, yellow into pink, violet, magenta and even a little bit of blue. <laughs> Long time no see, I touched my soft pastel and yes, here my background was made with soft pastel, surprisingly, because <laughs> that was my only idea how to do background with the empty page and almost empty page here. Well, it was messy, but at least I did this background relatively quickly. If I wouldn't use soft pastel, I think that I still would be doing this background with pencil. Well, apart from some frustration from the shape of these jars, I do love this page. And again, what can I say? My favorite color palette. I think that if I want to do something more creative, I just need to hide from myself all those lavender, violet and lilac colors. Um, I also have a one of work in progress, but I'm not sure if I even want to show you it. Uh, during the last uh, couple of weeks, I felt just um, a little bit down 
with everything is around. I had this feeling like everything is falling apart. I wasn't happy with the quality of my videos. I simply didn't have enough time for coloring with all the lives. And finally, um, when I uh, decided to start Picture Hero in Fairy Tales by Selena Fennec, where I need to do my final page, <laughs> things started to be even more let's call them strange. So you know that it's one of my favorite books and probably it will be my first book to finish because here I need to do just one remaining page. It's from uh, Diamond and Tots. I started it from this dress just um, a little bit and then strange things started to happen. Um, mm, in, you know that on my channel I have videos for all pictures in this book, all color alongs, in separate playlist. I dedicated probably four or three years of my coloring life to finish all these pictures here. And yeah, it was one of my favorites, obviously, if I did so many works here. But surprisingly, beneath my videos started to appear comments from Russian colorists that now they also have this book published in Russian and they will be happy to follow my videos and to color, to use them. And I was surprised to discover that indeed books by Selina Fenick was recently published in Russia. I asked Selina in comments on her Facebook group if there are indeed uh, don't copyright infringement but uh, legally published books. And yes, she said that she decided that it's okay to publish them now in Russia. She told that with this it's nothing serious, but she can cheer up poor innocent people who are not responsible for their government. And it was just a couple of days after destruction of Kahovka Dam, after hundreds of tiny Ukrainian cities and villages were covered by water, so people had to flee and to abandon. Huge territory of Ukraine now turned into desert. And a couple of days after this, um, we had another attack on Kiev. I will put your picture on the screen, picture taken by myself, where an uh, apartment building just 300 meters away from my father's building was hit by the remaining parts of a Russian missile and two floors were totally destroyed. Sleeping people during night were killed. And you can imagine that <laughs> I wasn't very inspired by idea, by cheering up poor Russian people, especially reading many happy comments that they need to proceed by de to, destroy, to destroy other Ukrainian dams, one near Kiev, and it will be easy way to win this war. So you can imagine that even if some Maybe this page and this book doesn't have right connection to everything, to this story behind. And Selina Fenick, of course, has her own right to do what she wants to do with her books, with her pictures. Yeah, she just totally do what she wants to, but I also have my own feelings. And I can say that I want um, to finish it now. Yes, I will finish it, because as I said, I dedicated four years of my life to finish these pictures. I will do it, I will publish it, and I will forget about this book and other books by Selena for some time. I definitely don't want to promote it by putting videos to cheer up innocent Russian people, because I read all comments from the same people who are now happily color and watch my videos and who were happy when war started. Anyway, so here I have this coloring started and probably my feelings, my confused feelings, my hurt feelings, there were affecting coloring process also, so video quality also was quite bad. Maybe I will forget about this one and it's okay that I have the second copy. So maybe I will do a new video, this time I will check better my camera settings. So maybe I will start from the beginning, I will finish this one, then my book will be finished and I will be able 
to forget about it. Yes, it's unhappy and maybe for somehow uh, it may be ridiculous, but you know that I understand that my nervous state far from good and such small triggers you can add some some unhappy moments even to calling so they I didn't even know if I want to mention it but probably I decided that I will as an honest person I will mention it in my video so I will put it aside maybe it will be easier for me to return to it in a month or two but I will finish it and then I will select better books to color in the future. Well, I also filmed a video about my coloring plans. I hope that they will be interesting because I decided that I need to pay more attention to my new books, um, untouched books. Of course, I intend to participate in Christmas in July and I also want to do another short sem in July. So I hope that it will be interesting for you. Thank you for your lovely comments, especially beneath videos about my Kerbe Razanes books and Kanoko Yagusa books. You know how dearly I love both of those artists. So I am very happy that you also love my works here. And now I need to go and to do another spread in Ivy. I hope that I will manage to do it because it's challenging for me, but in the same time I am glad that uh, slowly I add pictures here. Thank you and I will see you very soon.